Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we see the master slave operation in the JK flip flop. Master slave JK, let's say. Flip flop, okay? Now, master slave JK. What is this? So we'll see that in a minute. First, we need to revise this thing. What is this thing? We have the JK flip flop. And what happens in the JK flip flop? What is wrong with the JK flip flop is the racing. When you give it J1, K1, and the clock is one, so the output starts to race uncontrolled. And that's a problem we overcome with what? With the help of this particular master slave JK flip flop. And how is that done? And let me tell you that this master slave operation is similar to the negative edge triggered flip flop. All right, master slave operation is similar to negative edge triggering okay and we'll see that how now for that first you have to check you have to make some changes to this circuit this feedback that was provided previously needs to be removed for this particular case okay so we remove this part all right the feed we don't have this feedback okay okay what do we have instead instead we have some more gates all right so this is the first gate this will be the second gate and the rest is the same i mean to say we have a sort of another flip-flop now this is provided over here and this is provided over here fine so now this would be your final output Q and this one would be Q complement. Now if you see, we have a space here for the clock as well. And which is provided in what manner. So we see that also. Now this clock signal is taken from here. And it is uh, passed through an inverter. Given to NAND gate, NOT gate. And now it is given to this circuit. All right, this is the clock for this circuit. All right, and the feedback, the feedback Q, the Q comes from here. And you give it over here. All right, and the Q complement goes from here. And you give it to the very first, uh, very first NAND gate. Now, now, why is this circuit used? This circuit is used to overcome the racing condition in the JK flip flop. This black part of it, this black part of it is called the master. And so we represent its output this one by a QM. Q for master. Or like the output of master. And the blue, the blue is the blue is called the slave. So now this consists of two flip-flops, this whole circuitry. One of the master JK flip-flop, and the other is also a JK flip-flop called the slave JK flip-flop. Together they form a master slave JK flip-flop. Now the use of it, I've told you, is to overcome the racing condition. All right, so let's say I, I draw here the clock pulse. This is what? This is the clock pulse, okay? One, two, three. 
We have space, so I can draw one more, let's say. This is the clock pulse, and this is varying with time t. Okay, let me draw over here these lines so that we draw it more perfectly. The space is a little short, but we'll try our best, okay? This is the clock signal. The black color is the clock signal. This is zero. This is one state. Positive edge, falling edge, leading edge, falling edge, leading, falling, leading and falling. Now you have what? You have the J's value equal to 1 and K's value equal to 1. So both of them are 1. Fine. Now what we have? We need to find the values of QM and the final output Q. So let's say Q I have for with this blue color okay initially initially what happened that that let's say initial value is zero okay now what happens when the clock value is high so over here we have a one and over here we have a zero fine so that circuit is not operating now now for this circuit just have a look for this master circuit so for this circuit when k is one j is one and the clock is one so it will do what? It will toggle. All right. Toggle means that it will now change from zero to one. Okay. Now and now till the clock goes low, its value is one. Now when the clock goes low, zero. So now it will attain its state, and instead it will come till here in its high state. Now again, when the clock goes high, when the clock goes one back it will come from the high to low state which means it will toggle again so again it's in the low state now what happens it will stay low for this cycle and again when the clock goes low it will again retain its state it will again retain its memory state all right then you know this when clock will be one all of them are one you know so it will be toggling and when the clock is zero so it will have memory and that is what I'm trying to imply over here now again the clock has gone high so it will toggle again all of them are high now this is toggle and for this half of the time now the clock has gone low back it will now be it will now uh, store that bit again now the clock goes high again toggle clock goes high again again toggle and it stays this way and this goes on with the passage of time that is for what that is for the qm for the for the master for the master output okay now for the final output q have a look <coughs> sorry this is the final output q let's say initially when the clock is zero the initial state was zero okay when the clock goes high the clock goes high, this is inverted, and the clock over here is zero, which means it will retain its state. Now, when the clock goes low, when you have a zero over here, so over here you will have a one, which means now it will toggle and it will go to one. Now, as far as it is low, so it will be in the high state. Now again when the clock goes high, so over here it has a low signal, which means now it will retain its memory state. Fine. Again when the clock goes low and over here now to the slave input the clock is high, it will toggle again. It will toggle and it will stay in the low state. Then the clock goes high and to the slave part we have a low signal which means now it will retain its state okay now what happens the clock goes low again the clock goes low again and this this uh, particular slave circuit now has a clock again one because it's complemented so it will toggle again toggle it will stay high for half of the time again the clock has gone high and for this part it's zero which means that it will retain its state 
and finally the clock goes low over here we have a high state it toggles and it comes to zero and it goes so on with the passage of time and that's all about it and I said that this master slave operation is similar to negative edge triggering have a look when the clock is on the negative edge it's toggling when the clock is on the negative edge it's toggling the clock is on the negative edge it's toggling the clock is on the negative edge it's toggling the toggle operation we are obtaining in this particular master slave JK flip-flop is when is when the 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 clock is on the negative edge I hope that is clear that's all about today that's all about the master slave JK flip-flop see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye